today I'm going to try and be here to catch a glimpse or catch some fun in this uh, pool. So I hope to be here today. Though I can't swim very well, I'm just a learner. So I hope to swim one day like a fish. Hey guys, we are currently at Dongfang Bingwan here in, in Guangzhou. Uh, it's around 5.35. So guys, I'm in the hotel, you can see. Guys, this is Guangzhou, China. Southern China. I'm not putting on a thick cloth. Just one sweater. I want to get some stuff at the minimart. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> Sorry for that, okay. <laughs> you know, this is where they saw me and started closing off their... You know, as in patting up their face mask. <laughs> we are all afraid of each other. Lu. So guys, this is Guangzhou city. The area in China that you find more blacks, you know, than anywhere in China. Star hotel well built nice finishing yeah very big hotel everything here is on point everything here looks well on point wow very spacious very spacious wow wow these Chinese guys they know how to build stuff you know yeah I know also have these ones you know in Africa even in Nigeria but uh, to be frank with you, this kind of hotel in Nigeria, man, it's like Nikon Hilton Hotel. You know, those big, big hotels where you can't just, uh, you know. It must be, you know, must be of the high class. It must, it must be really rich to go there and spend some nights here, you know. An average guy can spend a night here, an average guy. <laughs> I mean, an average guy can spend a night here. You can, I will spend a night comfortably here. You don't need to be rich before you can live in this, you know, five-star hotel. This is really a classic hotel. You don't have to be rich before you can live here. Just have some few bucks, you know, and fine, you are good to go. Yeah. So this hotel, if I'm the classic hotel, is in the class of, uh, you know, Nikon Hilton, Eco Hotel. You know, those top big hotels in Nigeria. Let me go up there and see what they have there. Those top big hotels you have in Nigeria. Those are where you can find this kind of, this category of hotel. And that will require you to be, I mean, to have some box in your hand. Though this hotel is not so new. No, I must be frank with you, it's not so new. Not newly built. Wow, you can see the pool. My goodness, see that pool over there. So I will turn be here today to swim. Today I'm going to try and be here to catch a glimpse or catch some fun in this uh, pool. Very big pool. So it's a very big hotel. I mean a very big one. So I hope to be here today. And it's one reason why I booked this hotel because of this swimming pool. 
Though I can't swim very well, I'm just a learner. I'm still learning how to swim. But I've been looking for how to, you know, get in contact with pools, swimming pools where I could, you know, improve my swimming skill. You know, so I hope to swim one day like a fish. <laughs> swim like a fish. So that's my goal, one of my dreams. Though I'm, 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 I'm not, you know, I can swim anyway, I can swim. Like I'm trying, I'm doing my best. But the only issue I have with swimming is uh, when I swim, I find it difficult to exchange my breath. You know, I, have to, I, I usually swim underwater. How to, you know, raise up, raise up my head, you know, take up some, you know, as in take some, uh, some, you know, some oxygen or some air is my biggest challenge. So I began my swimming uh, class sometimes in 2019 and uh, COVID came. And when COVID came, I couldn't continue my teaching uh, or what's it called my swimming classes. It was halted due to COVID. So I hope to continue by myself now with every opportunity I have to swim. So guys, I'm in the hotel, you can see. I'm now in the like the receptionist area, you can see. It's really big. Those lights are blinking, maybe due to my camera, I don't know. But it's really beautiful. Very beautiful hotel. I mean very beautiful. Wow. It's really beautiful. So I'm just going to get some stuff downstairs. Then I go upstairs to see the family it's a well built hotel very big one i mean i'm not joking it's a very big hotel then i just choose this hotel wow see that waterfall came from here just now and this is also the hotel complex wow see that waterfall very beautiful waterfall very nice one Wow. So you may be wondering what's the name of this hotel? It's called Dongfang Bingwan. You can see this decoration. This is a Chinese, like maybe Chinese New Year celebration, the decoration of stuff, those kind of stops. And if you watch down there across the road, you also see some, you know, Chinese uh, cultural display or whatever. Those, um, what they call those things? They call those, uh, you know, those red stops, those red stops, they like that, that, that look like uh, what's it called? Uh, you know, like labels or whatever. I don't know what they call them in China. I've forgotten. Those red, you know, red decorations, you know. I've forgotten what they call them in Chinese. So you see them everywhere. Yeah, because this is Chinese uh, New Year. It's Chinese New Year. Wow. There seems to be a dragon. A dragon, or uh, what's it called? Dance going over there. So guys, this is Guangzhou, China. This is Guangzhou, Southern China. And you can see now, I'm not dressed with, I'm not putting on a thick cloth, just one sweater. And even, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit warmer, even with this sweater. So I think, even if I go with just a t-shirt, yeah, it's fine because, you can see guys, some guys here are wearing just t-shirts. So the weather here is just pretty warm, even in winter it's warm. It's warm in winter. So this is also another entrance of this hotel called Dong Fang Bing Wan, another entrance, okay? I'm actually looking for where I can find 
um, a small supermarket and right there is the you can watch right there uh, that's the exit C of um, Guangzhou Guangzhou South train station that's the exit C down there so guys I keep walking along this road till I find a kind of small what they call minimat I want to get some stuff at the minimat just get some little uh, what's it called consumables at the minimat you get it if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> sorry for that okay <laughs> you know this is what they saw me and started closing up their you know as in packing up their face masks so I have to do the same too you know because they shouldn't be afraid of me alone I should be afraid of them as well. Yeah, <laughs> we are all afraid of each other. No, but it's just a kind of uh, what's it called? You know, joke aside. It's okay here, but sometimes when they see you, they try to, you know, as a foreigner, they try to they see you. They try to get more. Oh, you know, cover up very well. And sometimes it could be annoying when they see you and try to cover up, or even tighten up their face mask. Sometimes it could be annoying. You know, but well, that's for them. That's for them. Why some don't even care if you exist? They just see you, they walk by, they don't even care whether you are putting on a face mask or not. Some don't care. Why some care so much? But all good and well, it's fine. No problem. So I'm walking right now on the street of Guangzhou. So this is Guangzhou, China. Guangzhou, China. Okay, here yeah, it's called. Liu Liu Hua Lu It's called Liu Hua Lu Okay, it's Dong Fan Si Lu Yes, Dong Fan Si Lu And here, here is Jie Fang Bei Lu Alright, if you go this way, we are going to Jie Fang Bei Lu If you go, we are going to Dong Fan Si Lu So, I'm still looking for where to find a uh, supermarket But here looks a little bit more of um corporate quarters you know and less of uh, you know residential area so i don't know if i can find the mall easily around here but i'll try if i cannot then i'm going to look for a taxi maybe i should go that other way i'm um, see if i could go look for a way as in where i could find more of residential area than more of commercial as in what I mean as in uh, more of office area so I need more of residential area than more of the office area I know if I get to residential area definitely I'm going to see more of those you know like small shops small to get some you know consumables like some you know mini mats all those stuff so I'm looking to I'm looking at where I could find them. I'm new here guys. When I mean I'm new here, I'm just coming to this place for the first time today. I'm in this area. I've been to Guangzhou like four times now, but I'm in this area, I've not been here before. It's my first time being in this particular area. Uh, I've not been here before at all. My first time being here. So I'm going to explore this area now very quickly. And I uh, hope to get some stuff. So guys, have you been to Guangzhou before? And if you are, let me know. I know most foreigners that come to Guangzhou they are all you know they stay more of these uh, what is it called these uh, Xiaobe area Xiaobe Lu area there you see more foreigners and since I've been here I've not seen any black guy and even yesterday when I came I told my friend that hey guy um, with my family we are staying at this Dongfan area and say, oh guy, don't stay there. No, 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 don't stay that area. That area is not okay. Come to, you know, Siobe area. You see a lot of Africans there, we're out there. But I've already paid for this hotel, like, for two days. Though I didn't plan staying here for too long, because I want to move around Guangzhou. And that's the aim of being in Guangzhou. But I've paid for this hotel already. So, um, at least for two days anyway. Maybe the next two days I might continue if I like the hotel. Or... I can move to those areas where my friend mentioned to me. So I'm still looking at 
or looking for where I can find a mat, a mini mat, or a mall. But I'm not seeing any at the moment. You can see all these areas. Look, uh, I think I'm seeing something similar here. Here it looks like a mall. It's a coffee shop here. Let me see. Let me see if this is what I'm looking for. How to get across. I'm just moving back and forth looking for where I can get um, some stuffs. I don't know if I can get here. This is a mall. Well, this mall looks scanty. It looks scanty, very scanty. I don't think I'll get anything here. So guys, this is Guangzhou city. The area in China where you find more, more blacks, you know, than anywhere in China. We have Guangzhou, also have Foshan. Foshan area also have, yeah, a good number of Africans now. Because initially, most Africans were, you know, in Guangzhou at the beginning. And due to some kind of restrictions, you know, government restrictions becoming a little bit, uh, or the government policies becoming a little bit tough. Oh, in that sense, like for instance, to get those work permits or those uh, company permits, you know, becomes a little bit, you know, tougher than usual because there are now many blacks in Guangzhou. They have to make this uh, uh, requirement of getting this, you know, like work permits or business certificates a little bit difficult. So people now start moving to where they call Foshan. Let me take a glimpse of this before I continue so here is you can see they're having some celebration here Chinese spring festival is going on here these are the dragons 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 Chinese Spring Festival is the most important festival in China. Most important festival with the highest human migration ever known in history. China's annual Spring Festival or New Year holiday. Hundreds of millions of people have been on the move. This phenomenon has been referred to as the world's largest annual human migration. So during the Spring Festival, we have a lot of human migration. A lot of human migration. So much in, you know, in millions. I mean millions at the same time. So it's the ever known highest human migration ever in China. So guys, I'm still in Guangzhou, you can see. I'm still here in Guangzhou. City I'm looking for. You have to find uh, small mini mats. You know, it's small mats, mini mats. I've seen one here. Yeah. But it looks closed, you know. So I'm looking for where I could get some maybe groceries and so on, but it's closed down, you can see. It's closed down. Closed down. It's closed down. So this is what I'm looking for actually, but it's closed down. So I don't know if I can find anyone along, along this area again. Else I'll use my GPS Google map to look for anyone around here. Wow, everywhere is closed down. 
most uh, business areas are closed down due to the Chinese Spring Festival. So I also doubt if I go to those areas where they have Africans, I doubt I may see a lot of activity going on there because most Africans in Guangzhou are here on business, buying and selling. So if everywhere is closed down at this moment, I doubt I can find them. But it's fine. I will go there with the family and uh, see if I can see anything around that area. This is Guangzhou, China. Guangzhou, Ch China. I'm just taking a walk to see if I can find a uh, mini mat. So, just like I pointed to you, that's where I'm lodging. That's the hotel where I'm lodging. You can see right there the hotel where I'm lodging, Dongfang Hotel. And here is just a walk. Here is just a, a stone throw. You find the Guangzhou South train station exit or entrance C and here is how here you can see here it said Guangzhou USU International Congress Center can you see that very well it has this building anyway it's over here and right there you see that's the train station exit or entrance, okay? Guangzhou South train station. So that's it. That's C, as the C or entrance C. And you take down, you go through this escalator or through the staircase to find it. Banjo looks cool, looks beautiful, looks warm, very nice. Wow. I think I should have gone that area, not this direction. I should have gone the other direction. So let me try and cross this road. And I want to cross following or obeying all traffic laws because this is not my city. I don't know much about this area. Even in my area too, you have to follow traffic obey obey traffic you know traffic laws you don't just cross the road anyhow here no i mean we are we are coming from sujo you must obey all traffic laws fully obey them so one thing i know in china is that traffic laws are well obeyed traffic laws are well obeyed if you don't obey these laws you will put yourself into a big mess You must obey the traffic laws. Very, very important. If you don't obey them, you will find yourself in a very big mess. So now, I don't know. Here is, uh, I think it's time to cross. Let me see. All right. Yeah. I'm surprised that I did not wait. That means it's time to go, it's green. I have to go. When you break traffic laws in China and you are being caught, you will face the uh, you face the law. There, there is there are what's it called consequences for that. If you have a driving license, um, as I was told anyway, you have uh, around uh, six of the driving license rights removed out of 12. So out of 12, they will remove six of it. So you have six left. So each time you break the traffic, uh, maybe you cross the red light, and you don't obey traffic laws, they will cut off six out of 12. And if you do that again, the remaining six goes off. 
and that means you are you have no more driving license you have to go and uh, resume from the beginning to apply for a new uh, driving license so that should be for you, for you very tedious which makes it very important for you to obey traffic laws in China so I'm still on the move I'm looking for where to find a uh, multi-purpose or uh, mat or mini mat or mall where I can get some groceries some stuff that we need at home or in the hotel and that's Burger King yeah Burger King this area looks for me to uh, I mean to organize to find what I'm looking for I mean I don't see a mall you know and here look less of you know less of a residential area I, I should find that mall in an area where we have more of you know residential activities here are more of hotels companies you can see this is a bank C I C I T I C C I T I C okay Johan yeah huh hotel again China hotel apartment you know just oh, yeah I've seen something like that okay yeah I've seen let me go in and ask for it okay So I'm done with my shopping and I'm trying to make my payment, okay? Okay. I just made my payment around 105 UN, okay? Hola. So I'm done shopping. So I actually found I actually found a minimax, okay, just here. It's called 711. So it's has a lot of stuff that I needed. So I'm going back to my hotel room. A lot of uh, groceries, milk, you know, some bread, bread cake, and stuff, uh, stuff like that. So I found them here, and uh, it's okay. So I'm going back to meet my family. So this guy, this is Guangzhou City. It looks very cool, very busy as usual. I've been to Guangzhou, you know, like I said initially, about four times, and it's always busy always busy even in my city where i left from Suzhou is not as busy as this Guangzhou is always busy even in spring festival it's still busy <laughs> i mean really busy you can see really busy so guys my hotel is just a stone throw from here and i'll be going back and uh, once again, I wish you all happy Chinese Spring Festival, okay? Happy Chinese Spring Festival. So we are here in China and we just have to celebrate the Spring Festival with them because we are employed by Chinese. Uh, most of our friends here are Chinese. My colleagues Chinese, my boss Chinese. So it's also good to celebrate with them and let them know that you also, you're part of them, you know what I'm saying? celebrate with them wish them happy Chinese Spring Festival give some call send some them some messages and make them feel a part of them yeah do I know during Chinese uh, during um, what's it called New Year celebration and uh, what's it called and uh, Christmas yeah I hardly get from them Christmas greetings because they hardly you know wish me Merry Christmas but very few of them do because uh, most of them feels that if you are in China, you don't celebrate Christmas. They only feel that Christmas is celebrated by those in the West. So even when we foreigners are here in China, some, you know, it's maybe a kind of um, oversight. So they don't really get to understand that we also celebrate Christmas here. Even though sometimes the Christmas day, we don't have holiday here in China. Not even sometimes, all Christmas days, we don't have holiday in China because Christmas is not uh, celebrated or let me say an official uh, celebration day or holiday in China so during Christmas work goes on as normal no one cares but for uh, the new year yeah, for the new year I mean January 1st yeah 
we also have some celebration in China because it's New Year worldwide. So we have like three days holiday. Three days holiday. But for Chinese, uh, Spring Festival, it's around uh, one week to nine days holiday. Yeah, so guys, I'm back to my hotel. And I'm going straight back to the room. To my hotel room. So it's called once again Dong Fang Bingguan. Dong Fang Bingguan. And that's the you know Chinese cultural gate design. It looks good. You can see the hotel has even some shopping malls around or some you know shopping outlets for clothes, stuff like that. And that's the hotel. These are car parks, garden, you know, where you could park your cars. There's a water fountain there. So it's actually a big hotel and looks really good. But like I mentioned initially that for this kind of caliber of hotel, if it is in Nigeria, I don't think I can afford it. Even though anyway I can afford, but I won't just go there and spend days. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> it's gonna be really expensive, you know. I mean really expensive like this Nikon Hilton, you know, uh Eco Hotel, those hotels, if you go there to spend a night, I mean in a very good, you know, room, maybe all in suits, you will you really pay for it. They are not cheap at all. They are never cheap. Alright guys, so I'm going back to the room. See you guys. And thanks for being here and watching my video. Please try and subscribe. My name is Mr. Sop. See you in my next video. See that song earlier, very big one. Wow, very beautiful. Wow, and that's the receptionist over there. Wow, and look at that you get the swimming pool over there. So, guys, I'm walking to the elevator, the lift. to catch up with the lift okay it's done there wow what's going on here too many activities in this hotel today too many activities so i'm going to seventh floor Serenity. Can you see? There are rooms over there. For, from here to the rooms and here to the, the rooms. It's really a big hotel. Wow, so I'm on seventh floor. There's seven.
guys. We are currently at Dongfang Bingguan here in, in Guangzhou uh, having our spring festival. And I'm here with the family. This is Jason. Hello, Jason. Hello. Hello. This is YP. Hi. Hi. So, actually, we came here. Uh, it's around, um, you can see my time is around 5 uh, 35, okay? That's to 6. So, we actually went out in the daytime when the water was uh, much warmer. So, now we are here now and it's uh, in evening time, so not very warm. A little bit cold, but we can still manage the water. So, I'm trying to learn how to swim or uh, swim better. And uh, I feel the water is a little bit more cold than usual. So, we'll try and be here tomorrow afternoon um, so we can um, get a uh, better adventure with the warm water. And this is my nose, my nose, uh, what do you call nose guide. So cover my nose, and this is my you know, swimming go go. And if you are new in this channel, please try and subscribe. Please try and subscribe, okay, guys? Try and subscribe. Yeah, try and subscribe. Uh, so this Monday and the government has actually gave an injunction that every schools and uh, office should be closed down today. So hello. So 
guys, I'm just walking, taking a stroll around the streets of Hamburg. Hamburg shop. What do you see? What do you think? Wow, can you see that boat behind me? Lihua. Lihua.